Mindy Harper is a homemaker and mother of three living in Ellington, Florida. Her condition began after an accident that happened when she was just a toddler living in Manhattan. I pretty much had been hurting most of my life and we were living in the city. They were building the Cross Bronx Expressway, they call it the CBE. And there was an explosion and my dad heard it and he threw me in the building and threw himself on top of me. And after that, I remember hurting. I started taking pain pills. I remember I was on a medication called Norgesic, and I had to learn to take to swallow pills. I remember mom used to crush them in a spoon and put them in applesauce, but you couldn't do that with this pill because it didn't taste good. I also got a TV in my bedroom because I, I missed a lot of school. And I, I used to stay in bed a lot because I couldn't move my neck. Mindy lived this way through her childhood in college. As time went on, the pain became part of me. It became my, my new normal. It was just me. I learned how to live with it. She was told by other doctors that she needed to have surgery or she risked paralysis. Finally, just after graduation, Mindy had her first back surgery, from which she spent a year recovering. But 10 years later, her symptoms returned as if she had never had any treatment at all. I'm having trouble moving. I'm dropping my tools and I can't work. I'm an optician. So he took me to um, an urgent care center because I did not want to go to the ER. and. The doctor there took an x-ray and he's looking at it. He didn't want to say anything. So I looked at the x-ray and I see that there's a piece of bone growing into my spinal cord and I'm slowly becoming paralyzed again. And this doctor sends me to the number one neurologist in town and he tells me he won't talk to me until I do 12 sessions of therapy. So Mindy reluctantly began her recommended physical therapy. By the eighth or ninth session, I can't move again. I am so sore. I'm worse off than I was before. I now have neuropathy in my hands and feet. If I go into the grocery store, I come out and I feel like I have frostbite in my hands and feet. So I can't go into stores anymore. So I stopped it and I'm back in bed and Dr. King gave me a call. So he started asking me, how am I? And I kind of let him know. I didn't use any four letter words though. So I went online myself. After taking matters into her own hands, Mindy found the Bonatti Spine Institute located in Hudson, Florida. She called the facility to get more details about her options. Dr. Bonatti actually called me back. It was wonderful that you actually had a physician calling you back that actually knew what he was talking about. Feeling confident that she could be treated with the patented Bonatti spine procedures, Mindy scheduled her surgery. And the enduring pain she felt for decades had finally disappeared. I remember sitting up, I don't hurt at all. Since the surgery, I can pick up groceries by myself. Um, I can pick up the dog. I have more strength in my arms. Good for cleaning, pushing a vacuum. When I drive, I can turn my head much easier than before the surgery. Oh, the family's really happy about that. <laughs> but I'm still the worst driver. And those pain medications that she got used to taking every day, no longer part of her daily routine. I don't have to take pain medication anymore. To me, that is fantastic. I just feel normal. There was no recovery time with me. I can't speak highly enough about the Bonatti Spine Institute. To see more stories of recovery just like this, search for the Bonatti Spine Institute on YouTube, Rumble, Apple's App Store, Google's Play Store, Roku, and Amazon's Fire TV.